hi guys um today i said we will do um names of notes on each string and we are starting with string one today so but and i said we would use an exercise of site trading to do it so but today i want to briefly explain how to site trade how to read the music notes okay so uh, uh, earlier i dropped the material on the group which i said we should read so i'm starting now on that material here on page seven so on page seven which is section two on page seven we have how to read music and it's written here music is is written on a staff which has five lines and four spaces i've explained that before music has five uh, music staff has five lines and four spaces and the name of those line we will start from the the, the the one below the line below to the one at the top the line below is number one line is e number two is g number three is b number four is d number number five is f we start from below to the top and i said for you to remember it very well you can use e every good boy does fine so that you remember it very well then the spaces we have four spaces in between them and the name of those spaces is f a c e which you can easily remember by face f a c e so the first line from down to top down will be f the second line is is a the third line is c and then the last one fourth is e you will be seeing it on your screen okay so next they said music is read from left to right just like you would read a book so you read from left back to the right where the notes on the staff tells you how high or low it is in pitch okay so the 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 uh where that note is written will tell you maybe it is a high pitch or a low pitch because at times you could have 2g in the staff you could even have three of them so it depends on where it is placed if it is placed at the top that means it is high pitch and if it is placed lower downward it is of low pitch that is what they are trying to see them now the notes can be on a line or space it could either be on a line or space so if it is on the line you know the name will change and depending on the line which is it is if it is on a space you know the name will change according to the name of i mean the, the space which it is occupied okay each line of the staff has a letter name that goes with it okay i, I already explained that each of those lines and spaces have a name that goes along with it okay the music alphabet goes from a to g i explained that from a to g then when you get to g you go back to a again i, I explained the relationship between them so some has space in between some of them does not have space in between okay, okay. so on your screen you have uh on the left uh, um, side the music staff so this is just explaining uh how low or high a note could be it tells you that this whole note that you are looking at on that on that first line downward i mean that, that note is of low pitch while the one on uh the fourth space is of high pitch that is what they are just telling you there then the next diagram is telling you that the names of the of each lines e g b d f so line one is e two is g three is b 4 is D and 5 is F. Then the last diagram is telling you that the names of the spaces that's F A C E. Line I mean space 1 is F, 2 is A, 3 is C, and the fourth one is E. Okay, so now this they are talking about rhythms here. They said there are four main types of notes that vary according to how long they are played. So now number one, we have O notes, it is also called semi-brief. Now, this, I already explained all of this on the group. I'm just re-explaining so that if you are a first-timer or just to bring back your memory to it. Okay, so now O notes takes four bits. It is also called semi-brief. The American name is O notes, while the uh, British name is, is semi-brief. Okay, so it takes four, it takes four bits. That is for O notes. So the way you, you understand O notes is that it is like a circle and it has holes in it it's not shaded it has hole in it and it does not have a stem it doesn't have a stem no then we have half notes next it is on your screen there we have half notes half notes is uh 
it takes two bits. Instead, it is half of all notes. Is the all notes is divided into two? Then you have half notes. So his his British name is Minim. Now the next one is quarter note, which takes one bit. So quarter note is all note divided into four. Now, so it takes one bit, and American name is crotchet. Now we have eight notes, which is uh, uh it takes half a bit. So when you have uh, eight or eight notes, it takes half a bit. So what, what, the way you remember you remember is that it has uh, uh, a, a, a a sleeve. It has that circle thing shaded instead of all notes that is not shaded and half notes that is not shaded. But this one is shaded and it has a stem with a sleeve, only one. So eight notes will have only one sleeve. It is also called quiver. So now if you want to divide that into two, you have a uh, 16th note now. And 16 notes we have two sleeves. Then um, 32 notes we have three and like that. So that is quiver, semi quiver, emi demi semi quiver. Then you can have it like that and like that. Okay, so on the next page now, I have a uh, type of rest. Type of rest is, is just like type of notes now. Now, type of rest, we have all rest, which on a line it is usually downward, below the line. Now, we have number two, half rest. All this has been taught. We have half rest, which is usually placed above the line, above a line. Okay, so now we have a uh, uh, quarter rest now. Quarter rest is like a symbol like this. It is displayed on your screen. Quarter rest, it take one bit. The whole rest take four bit like all notes. Half rest take two bit. Quarter rest take one bit. Then we have eight rest, which is half. It takes half bit, and it's also called quiver rest. So they have their names just like notes. Okay. Now we have treble clef, time signature, bar lines, and measures. Okay. On that picture. The first thing you are seeing there is treble clef. We will always have treble clef when we are talking about guitars, lead guitar, because we don't have bass notes. Like I said earlier, this even this six string is a treble string, not a bass string. So then next you have something known as four over four. What they are telling you is the upper note is uh, um, um, is telling you now that this is number of this is telling you number of bits the top the one at the top is number of bits now the one below is number of notes so in, in this case we have four over four which is four bits for four notes okay so now you will see a line in there that is dividing them so that line is called measure in between those lines is called measure another another line in between those lines is called measure note in in between those lines is called measure and the next one called measure okay so okay it is even written here how many bits in each measure then what kind of notes gets the beat so that is what they are telling you there with that uh four over four of a thing now the next one here we have the name of of the e of first string the name on the e of first string so we have three three notes in this uh string which are e we have f and we have g i explained it earlier uh, uh each names of the string and how we would derive them derivation as we explained if you if you are if you don't know it you can always go back to the group and check so the derivation have been done so yeah, now we just want to work on them now we have e we have f and we have g now e according to this diagram you see it falls off that thick line which is telling you that when it, it, it is an open string that is what it tell you now that thick line is indicating this note here so the, the note e falls off this uh this note which is here outside so you just play it like this okay let me on my amp now so all you just do is play it like this without having to press anything down so you, you don't press that string down you just play it. then you have a e note okay so next we have f so f is on fret one that is why it is named one so we have f here then next we have g note which is you see it is number three is on fret three so we have 
So we have E here outside. We have F next on fret one. Then we have G on fret uh, 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 on the third fret. So okay, that is what we have now. Then then you can see a a a, a staff that is placed. You see on that staff you have E on the on fourth space that is always where you have e then on the fifth line at the top you have f then above the fifth line now above it right on top it you have this g so what you have there is So this you might need to note down and try to remember it. Try to remember it so that it gets much easier when you are working the exercises. Okay, so now we want to start string exercises. Now um what I need you to do is play along with me. If you're getting anything wrong, backward it, backward the player and um and replay it again. Okay, so then you might need to play this as much possible as as much as possible repeat it keep playing it so that you get it very well okay so i have a tempo going on here which is um at 60 the, the tempo is 60 i have a metronome here and the tempo i set it is 60 you can get a metronome on your phone from google play store so then what i want to say is don't don't set the tempo too much so that uh, uh, you can get it easily. This the task here is not to is not to rush. It's not to uh, uh, it's not speed. We are actually working about is to be able to sight read and to be able to use that sight reading to play on 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 your strings. To be able to use the sight reading play on the guitar and to note where each of those notes are on the string. So that is the task here. So please, when you get your metronome, don't rush at all. Just play it very slow. Okay. So here I have my number one uh, exercise here. They are all O notes, which means they will get four four beats each of them. Okay. Two three four. One two three four again. One two three four. Okay, that is number one. Now number two now. Number two here are half notes. They have two two beats each of them. So I would have something like this. Let me take again number two. I made a mistake somewhere there. I'm taking again number two. Okay. Okay, that's number two. Now number three now. <coughs> Each of them is quarter note. So they take one one bit each. Okay. So I would have something like this. Okay, that's number two and uh, number three. Sorry, number three, the last uh, measure there. It has E to be um, to be four to be uh, O note, which takes four bits. Okay, so I'm going to number four exercise now.
Okay, so that is number four exercise now. Okay. Okay, so now I want to do more four string exercises. Actually, more four string exercises is supposed to be done by you, but because you are just starting these exercises, I will do some of them. I will do it from number one to number four, and I will leave number five for you to do. Don't forget, E is outside here. That is E. I have my F to be on my first fret. I'm playing with my first finger. I have G to be on the third fret. I'm playing with third finger here. Okay. So now let me have my metronome. Let me play my metronome on my system here. Okay. Now I'm starting to with number one now, which I have. Proceeding to number two now. Number two. Okay. So number three now. Number four now. Okay, so now number five, I want you to practice it on your own and please drop it on the group. Practice it. After getting it, you can record it on your phone and drop it on the group so that I will know that you are getting this. It is very important I know that you are getting it. Please practice it and from the first uh, uh, ones that we did up to this one, make sure you practice and practice and practice them all over again. That is just the way to get it. Okay, thank you.